What's going on, my friend? Force, you're tuned with Bulk Me Bulk and we're back for another part of Let's Play Bravely Second Blind. You know, now that I think about it, uh, I was kind of, I was, well, one, thank you for who, for who, who was it that pointed it out? Hold on, I'm actually going to look this up. Who was it that pointed it out, uh, that I actually missed a chest? Who was that? Uh, okay. Albertson 3, thank you. Thank you very much for pointing out that chest. I actually had no idea I missed it. Okay, so, back into this. I was thinking about it, and the more I thought about it, if she screamed, because this guy said he heard a scream, so how would she have committed, why would she have screamed if she committed suicide? I mean, sure, there's the argument of like, oh my god, I didn't expect to be so painful, but at the same time, you generally kind of accept that it's going to hurt, and you don't really... Make a giant loud noise about it. Yeah, just just my opinion. I don't know if that's actually true. Just, that's what I'm thinking. How sure are we that this room is really secure? We've been over every inch and found not a single hidden passage. It's a sealed chamber if I ever saw one. Kikio, you stayed here when you were with the Black Blades, didn't you? How well did you all know the fort? When I was stationed here as part of the Black Blades covert forces, I knew every hidden pass. I I love how it's just cut off like that. In this fort, it appears, however, that there have been renovations since then, which could very well mean. Hmm. All right, listen up. I want you to go over every square inch of this room with a fine-tooth comb. Leave no stone unturned. Yes, sir. So they're finally getting on Excuse board with me, here. Heinkel. We'd like to have a word with you. Oh, please, no, Sholmes. What is it this time, Sholmes? I just thought, uh, perhaps we should consult with Mr. Lesser. He is the owner of the fort. Hmm. Not bad. There we go. Renovations? I'm afraid any such work would have occurred before I acquired the property. But you should have records showing the name of the former owner, yes? The one who carried out said renovations? Yes, I believe I do. I thought as much, just as you should have records of the two of us working here. Isn't that so, Whitsum? Uh, that's true enough. I remember it well. We were still students then. It was the best pay we'd ever gotten. Huh, <laughs> all right. W why, yes, it was. You heard the man. Go to Mr. Lesser's office and bring me the names of everyone involved with the renovation work. Yes, sir. Uh, uh Whitson, what's up? He looks depressed. You know, I could talk to Sholmes. I'd rather talk to Whitson. Not too shabby, Sholmes. You might have what it takes to pull off an investigation. With careful police work and keen instinct, both. Please don't tell me he just took Winston, Wit, Winston's idea. I or Whitson. In truth, I still can't decide. Am I best suited to the life of an inspector, tirelessly pursuing criminals through steady, thorough investigation? Or am I destined to become a genius detective, using logic and inspiration to track down the most evasive criminal masterminds? Just based off what I think I've said it before, but based off what we've seen so far, stick with a desk job, dude. Hmm. You gotta pick one, huh? Hmm. Well, okay. So, private investigator. I don't know how this is gonna work. I'm assuming they'll tell me afterwards, but I'll just go ahead and pick police investigator right now. Uh, Woodson? I think you should follow in Heinkel's footsteps. You'd make a great inspector. Now's not the time for you to be running around on your own as a private eye. With nothing to guide you but your hunches. Start off by working with people who have experience. Learn the ropes of how to investigate, then go from there. If you do that, I bet you'll make a great inspector someday. Before this goes on any further, for some reason, I've had a hunch. I know this is stupid, and I'm probably wrong about it. But for some reason, I have a hunch. Had a hunch that like Wits, 
because I have this thing where I try and predict like who the killer will be in these kind of th- situations, like on TV or if, in games, and I always like pick someone weird and random. But usually I'm right, um, and I kind of did that with Whitson a while ago. So I just thought I'd bring it up now because it seems like with his him acting weird, this might have been the this might be the there might be the reveal soon. Why yes, when you put it that way. It's elementary. I'll train to become an inspector under my dear Uncle Heinkel's tutelage. <laughs> Kikyo? I was asked by your parents to help you find a job. A sheltered little fool I barely have any ties to, but still I agree to watch over you. Even though I would rather do anything else, and this is how you repay me, you ingrate. What the fuck? Kikyo? And you. I knew you had more muscles than brains, but are you truly so foolish as to think that you could suggest that Sholm's become an inspector and it wouldn't end with you battling me, Idia? Um... Huh. I guess I picked the right one. I actually got- I want to I see the other option. Okay, now let's see what happens when I get Heinkel involved. To be frank, I'm, am I best suited or am I? Hmm. Again, what is he? Is he tattling on Sholmes or something? Like, what's going on there? Sholmes, I think you should follow in Kikio's footsteps and become a private detective. There's something to be said for structure and teamwork, but. Once you start to rely on that structure, that's when you'll get lazy. Work on your own like Kikyo, and you'll have to fend for yourself. You'll be tested to hone your wits and instincts. Do that, and you'll have a bright, crime-solving future ahead of you. I'm sure of it. Why, yes. When you put it that way, it's elementary. I'll dedicate myself to becoming a great private investigator, just like Aunt Kikyo. And in comes Heinkel. What is this nonsense? A fine pair you make. Heinkel! You may come from a great family, but don't let that go to your head, you mewling little upstart. Perhaps you've been caught up in this fool starry eyed dreams, but to seriously recommend that my dunce of a nephew become a P.I.? Just the load I'd expect from a know nothing glutton like you, idiot. Jesus, everyone just hates a dia. Heinkel, don't you think you're being a bit harsh? Shut your mouth, maggot! Persist in this idiocy and you will face me in battle! Are you prepared for that? Yeah, uh, I kind of- I honestly kind of want to fight Heinkel just because he's being an asshole, but I already decided that I'm going to, um, go with the ninja asterisk. So, let's lay it on me, dude. Let's go and fight Kikyo. I still want to know what's going on with Whitson. I think you should follow. And poof. Bring it. Hmm. And again, quite silent. appears. That's what you want to say, right? So let's get on with it already. Hmm. Thank goodness I didn't have to have a conversation. Like, no one had to have a conversation with themselves in this. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, this is actually going to be kind of an annoying battle. I need to set up with a, uh... Huh. I've got a rejuvenation. Awesome. I'm going to need to set up with a... Where is it? Where's the like, 50% thing? There we go. I'm going to need to set up with a double vivify as a mist. Because from, from the last game, she just kept hammering me before I could even go. So I'm going to need to make sure I stay at full HP at all times. And... Yeah. It's been a while since I've actually done the combat in this, but this should be interesting.
30,000. Jesus. All right. All right. He should be able to go on the offensive soon. And you... You really need to have your, um... You really need to have your dagger equipped. Where is this dagger? Because you need a you need the shield. You really do. Which one's best? Not the sword, shield. They're serrated for extra attack, but I'm not gonna attack. Wait, was the serrated actually better? No, it was not. Oh my god! Alright, Magnolia. Uh, maybe I should have increased your defense first. Yeesh. But I do have a fire rod, so this should be interesting. What else can I do? Wait. Why is that taking so much? There we go. I, that was weird. It, it, for some reason, it took me down to minus two. I had no idea what was going on there. Yep, there it is. Oh, that's right. The hammer becomes physical. Fuck. Completely forgot. Damn it. Ow. Is the mist gone? Crap. I didn't even I wasn't even able to do that damage that I wanted. That sucks. Let's get a rejuvenation going, because we're going to need that. Your it's the semi has gone, right? Yeah. Which means we can start to play. Not stalwart Oryx. Goring Oryx. There we go. And I've got a good amount of HP, so Trample should do quite a bit. Whoops, not three Tramples. Two Tramples. And then back to... Start, then back to my defensive stance. Now, I'm going to be getting a bunch of um, BP here, so I'm going to try... Not the Infinity. I want to try and get it right. Em. Yes, stand ground. Thank you. Nice damage. Ooh, got it. There we go. Alright, now we can go for this reliably. Except, I'm not going to go hammer. Uh, I guess dart will work. I think. And I still want that mi Vivify Mist up, so... I'm actually going to go one more. Because I also want some... Where is that? Where's the physical ward? Yeah, I also want that physical ward on Magnolia. Because that is going to be key to surviving, I think. Alright, bring it. Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. Alright. Now, she's going to avoid one physical attack, so... I think I'll just do that. Just to get the physical attack off. And I also want to get... Not Infinity. But now time to... Now time to equip the, uh... My gun. Or rifle. 
All right. Go for it. Oh, damn it. Ooh. Jesus! All right, and the miss is not gone. We're going to need to get... I should probably... No, I'll just cast as is. I was thinking dart just to get the beginning of the turn, but no, that's not going to be very good. Alright, now let's see. What is all this again? This is actually the first time I've kind of used this. Warhead. Maverick. Condor. Ooh, yeah, Condor. And then just go for some regular attacks. And now I need to set up that mist again. Alright, gotta get this going. Need Blazing Wolf if I need to reset up my uh my off my offensive options, but I don't have a lot of HP. Ah, too late. Well, I guess I'll just be going for some Wolfang, then Goring Orox, then Wolfang. And just default here. Oh crap. Well then. That didn't work out too well. Damn it, quit doing that. Really annoying. I wish I could use the hammer, but... Because the hammer is so damn powerful, but she just dodged out of the way. Will blast work that? No. Not mi I don't want to miss either. I just gotta keep going with dart, I guess. Alright, just hack and slash because I'm getting annoyed with this. Ooh, nice damage. God dang it! Alright. Because I'm pretty sure that this is gonna go first... Here's what I'm going to thinking. Or, I think you is going to go first, so... I'm going to use a Blessing as a dart to get Idea back up. Just so I can have some damn HP again. Or, some experience. And fuck it, this is going to go all out. Screw this. There, get back up. Damn, Mutsusemi! Don't die. Don't die. Yes! I love staying ground. Okay. Good. Whew. Alright. And with that, we're going to call it an episode. So, hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all next time.